in urging people living with the disease to get the shot and their caregivers too. News 3 reporter Nana St. Jobansu has more on the challenges people with Alzheimer's are facing. We are often reminded to stay six feet apart and to wear a mask, but imagine having to explain that to someone with memory loss. Getting her to keep that mask on while we're in public has been a real struggle. Thankfully, 84 year old Betty Thomas has her daughter Carrie Bruce right by her side to remind her. Thomas was diagnosed with Alzheimer's and vascular dementia in 2007. After years of living in a long term care facility, she now lives with Bruce at her Smithfield home. She still had friends that she was in contact with at the facility. With the lockdown, she wasn't able to see them anymore. Leaders with the Alzheimer's Association of Southeastern Virginia say the lack of social interaction due to the pandemic is a serious concern for people living with the disease. If you imagine somebody who, you know, may be at the very beginning of recognizing memory loss, Social isolation can escalate that. Most people who have the disease and live in long term care facilities have already been vaccinated. They are part of the 1A phase. The concern is for people who live with family. They are technically in 1B. So the people that are being cared for at home are almost being discriminated against because they're not part of the long term care facility. Bruce's mother is in line for the COVID-19 vaccine. Bruce was fortunate enough to get the vaccine because she volunteers at a local hospital. Her concern now is for family caregivers who don't have that access. I really feel like a person who is a caregiver should be automatically placed in the same category as the person for whom they are providing care. On the Virginia Department of Health Care Phase 1 guidelines, primary caregivers are considered health care personnel, but it's not clear if family caregivers are included or how one identifies as a caregiver. There isn't a specific identification for caregivers because of their identity as caregivers. Caregivers are also not in Phase 1B. If, if they don't qualify in some other way for that particular uh, phase, you know, that there isn't a delineation or, you know, definition for that specific role. Which can make it harder to care for your loved one who has the vaccine. If she were vaccinated and I wasn't and I'm going out in public on a regular basis, then that's only half of the protection that as a family we need to take. News 3 has reached out to the health department for clarification and we're waiting to hear back. In Norfolk, Nana Sintio Bonsu, News 3.